Hi guys, welcome back. Albert here. Um, I'm really, really excited because I in this video training, I'm going to show you how we're gonna put the, our, our image together into a website or mini site or a squeeze page. Because uh, uh, you can actually do all that. Uh, it's very simple. I'm going to show you how to put all this thing together using front page. Okay, front page is a Microsoft product uh, it's a um, uh, HTML editor it's very easy to use folks so um, uh, we're gonna put all our projects together and let's see how it looks okay so you remember this the header that we created uh, the order button that we created and that footer okay we're gonna put that in uh, one page uh, but probably we're gonna use the order button later on but for this video demonstration we're gonna put the uh, header and the footer together using front page okay let's go uh, let's get started folks I'm just gonna minimize this well actually I don't need to let's just go ahead and go to uh, uh, front page okay I have this open uh, already earlier what we need to do is open a new page to do that you just click uh, your uh, uh, tab here it's it called create a new page okay when you click that this is what it's gonna look like you're gonna have a new page uh, right right here okay so right now your cursor is right there what we want to do I want to change the background for our project okay um, you know white background is it's it's good good for for a certain website but for this project I'm gonna choose a different color background okay and and you probably uh, will uh, understand later on uh, along the way we're we're uh, doing our project okay so let's get started what you want to do is uh, uh, to change the color of the background is right click okay you can right click anywhere in the on the uh, page and then just go to the page properties okay once you're there you just go to formatting okay you just click formatting and then it says right here colors okay background we want to uh, choose a, a color for our background so we you we want to click the uh, drop down arrow uh, for this project I'm going to choose a dark blue background okay and I'm going to click OK and there you go we have the background now what we want to do is we want to insert a table for our images and content so I put the cursor right over there and then we're going to click the table to insert the table and click insert click table alright and now we have this uh, uh, dialog box here um, for the tables it's actually uh, uh, it gives you all this uh, 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 sizes you can change the size column rows and stuff like that alright uh, we want to uh, have three rows for this uh, project okay I explained that to you later on so we want to put three uh, rows okay we're gonna use one column okay so three rows one column okay the layout we're gonna change the alignment we want to uh, set this uh, table in the middle which or in the center okay we're just gonna leave the float to default uh, also the pixel we want to um, uh, the width uh, the specify width we want to change it to into pixel okay and then we want to change this to 700 because the size of our header and footer is 700 okay I use 700 as a standard you can you can choose uh, whatever width or height or whatever a size that you wanna use but for some reason I make it um, the 700 pixels a standard because uh, if um, if uh, your your visitors is using different resolutions 700 it's almost perfect yeah, you don't need to scroll back and forth on at the bottom I don't know uh, uh, if you know what I'm talking about the the scroll bar at the bottom 700 pixel it's about right you don't have to scroll back and forth okay and um, the borders uh, I don't want any borders 
for this project or we're just going to leave it uh, we're going to put zeros uh, for this border also make sure it, you, the collapse the table border border is collapsed check, check that right there and the background we want to make sure the background of our table is going to be white okay so I'll check that white right here I think um, that's about it uh, folks and then just click OK and there you go we have the table okay so next uh, step that we want to do is we want to insert our header on the top okay so your cursor is just already there where we want to insert the the graphics so let's go ahead and insert the graphic that we we created which is uh, we're gonna click this uh, uh, little mountain right here it says insert a picture from file we're gonna click that and look for our header graphics which is right here I already set the uh, look for the folder image that you save in your computer my document my picture but for this project it's already set you know on I created a folder called image and the header is right here so let's go ahead and click uh, the header so we can insert it there you go the next step is we want to insert the footer it's the same procedure you put your cursor where you want to insert it which is at the bottom right there and click this picture right here I mean the uh, uh, mountain uh, icon kinda and then it says insert picture from file click it and then click your footer or the image that you want to insert it boom right there folks and now we want to put our cursor at the uh, on the middle and just click just uh, hit enter on your ma on, I mean in on your keyboard just to make room for your content and there you go uh, let's preview it there you go folks it's all yours you created this you seen it we created right before your eyes look at it you can compare side by side uh, to your website to your competitor website or to your even a, a, a personal website the squeeze page a mini site folks you can use this uh, a lot of things you can even use this uh, a template in eBay if you want to sell in eBay you can create the template like this over and over again you don't have to hire anybody how easy it is you saw it uh, with your own eyes okay um, so um, we're gonna show you more in the near future uh, and later on we're gonna put the content Johnson's box order button and all that stuff but for this video I don't want to make it uh, too long so it's not big of a file so right there folks watch it over and over again practice learn it and everything there you have it folks have a good day I hope uh, you be success, uh, success in your business uh, this is your host Albert thank you